السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد جواد سیف فرام گورمنٹ کالج یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد ان دس پریزنٹیشن آئی انٹینٹ ٹو ڈسکرائب دا امپورٹینس آف کیمسٹری ان ایوری ڈے لائف نا لیٹس بگن وی آر سراؤنڈیڈ بائی کیمسٹری ان ایوری ڈے لائف کیمسٹری ہیز انفلوئنسڈ آور لائف سو مچ دیٹ وی ڈو ناٹ ایون ریئلائز دیٹ وی کم اکروس کیمیکلس ایٹ ایوری موومنٹ وی کم اکروس ود کیمسٹری ان آور ڈیلی لائفس ایٹ ایوری موومنٹ اینڈ ان ایچ ڈے ایکچولی ایف وی لک ایٹ دا تھنگس ڈیپلی ویل فائنڈ آؤٹ دیٹ وی آور سیلفس آر بیوٹیفل کیمیکل کریشنس اینڈ آل آور ایکٹیویٹیز آر کنٹرولڈ بائی کیمیکلس ایف آئی موو مائی ہینڈ دیٹ مینس مائی ہینڈ از میڈ اپ آف پالیمرس اینڈ دیز پالیمرس آر کنفارمنگ ٹو میک اے نیو شیپ ایف آئی کلوز مائی فیسٹ اٹ مینس مائی دا پالیمرس آر ایکچولی کنفارمنگ ٹو میک اے نیو شیپ سو ایکچولی آور ہول باڈی از اے کیمیکل مشینری دیٹ از ورکنگ ان دیٹ وے دیر کوڈ بی مینی ایگزامپلس فار ایگزامپل ان آور ایوری ڈے لائف وین وی سی دا پروسیس آف کمبسچن وین وی لیٹ اپ دا فلیم وی لیٹ اپ دا ووڈ دا پروسیس آف کمبسچن از ایکچولی اے کیمسٹری پروسیس ویئر دا کاربن اور کاربن کمپاؤنڈس آر فیول اور ووڈ اٹ ریئیکٹس ود آکسیجن ٹو to give out heat in the form of fire or uh, it, and it releases energy so combustion is actually a chemical process similarly rusting of metal surfaces is also a chemical process and chemistry is involved here what is rusting rusting is basically the reaction of metal surface with oxygen oxygen is present in the air it is available everywhere so the surface metallic surface they tend to react with oxygen to uh, produce metal oxides so the rust is actually metal oxide and the rusting is the phenomena of this uh, chemical reaction where uh, metal oxides are produced digestion in our bodies in uh, animal bodies in human bodies that is also a chemical process the food we eat is actually uh, it consists of lot of chemicals some chemicals are simple chemicals and other chemicals are complex chemicals so during the process of digestion uh, our body secretes enzymes and enzymes are also uh, chemical entities so these enzymes break down the food the complex part of the food into simple molecules or simple fragments these simple fragments are easy to uh, to be absorbed in our body photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their food by absorbing sunlight plants absorb their nutrients using their roots from the soil and then during the chemical process of photosynthesis these ingredients are converted into food for plants carbon is uh, obtained from atmospheric carbon dioxide plants absorb carbon dioxide and they react it with uh, and they make it react with water to uh, produce uh, Uh, glucose or simple sugars in the presence of sunlight so all this uh, process is actually chemically controlled batteries we use in our mobiles in our uh, vehicles everywhere in our lives uh, these batteries are also uh, these batteries also work on the principle uh, on chemical principles uh, for example in lead acid ba- batteries there is a chemical reaction where lead is transforming into another compound and the energy is uh, actually stored in the form of um, chemical energy and when the process is reversed that energy is uh, again converted into electrical energy and that we use 
same happens with all sort of batteries there is a chemical reaction involved in the working of batteries fermentation process uh, uh, we we like fermented products in, uh, during fermentation the microbes they carry on a chemical process which brings some basic changes in the food or in the material and converts it into new products into new chemicals for example during the fermentation uh, of uh, during the brewing of alcohol uh, sugars are converted into alcohol sugars are a different class of compounds alcohols are different class of compounds and microbes they enzymatically they can convert one class of compounds into another class of compound and that is pure chemistry even washing of our hands uh, washing is a simple process uh, by applying soap on our hands and uh, running the soap under water so during the uh, during washing chemistry is also involved because the interaction of soap with uh, dirt with oil with greases this is a chemical interaction so washing uh, it looks very simple but still we are interacting with the chemistry uh, during the washing procedure during baking baking uh, is a favorite part of cooking during baking a lot of chemical changes are taking place if something is overbaked the texture is different if some something is some food is uh, underbaked it is not properly baked again the texture is different uh, carbon dioxide is evolved during the baking process that gives the fluffy uh, texture to the uh, uh, to the edibles so uh, chemistry is everywhere wherever we see uh, we will find that we are interacting with chemistry in our daily lives here in this presentation i i will give some more examples to make things clear uh, so many people think that chemistry uh, is only in present uh, chemistry is present only in labs but that is uh, not correct chemistry um, isn't something that just lives in a lab it's actually something that you encounter hundreds of times every day knowing how chemistry works will give you a greater appreciation of the complex process behind some of the simplest looking things cooking uh, Uh, is a very common pro common process this is a very common phenomena we observe in our daily lives cooking involves chemistry almost in all cooking steps chemistry is involved chemistry explains how food changes as we cook it how it rots how to preserve food how our body uses the food eats and how ingredi ingredients interact to make food uh this is not only about food food consumption but chemistry is also involved in food production and food security the famous green revolution to increase agricultural produce so as to ensure food security was triggered by the advent of inorganic fertilizers um, yields crop yields are greatly enhanced by fertilizers since then fertilizers are extensively used by farmers to restore the fertility of soil in the fields apart from fertilizers fertilizers enhance the yield of the crops we need some chemicals to protect the crops from harmful uh, pests or insects pesticides are used to protect the crop during farming and preserve the grains from pests rats and mice during storage similarly genetically modified seeds which are used to enhance production and earn profits through export of food grains are agricultural applications of biochemistry so 
chemistry helps us to enhance the yield of crops chemistry helps us to protect the crops and chemistry helps us to store the crops to store the food whereas refrigeration system for cold storage of vegetables and raw meat uses polyurethane foams and the chemical properties of gases to preserve the food for a longer time there are many chemicals uh, used in our foods for example food colors artificial sweeteners artificial flavors stabilizing agents preservatives and supplements nutritional supplements such as minerals vitamins and amino acids artificial sweetening is becoming very popular nowadays natural sweeteners for example sucrose or table sugar add to calorie intake and therefore many people prefer to use artificial sweeteners it has been used as a uh, for example artho sulfo benzimide that is the chemical name of saccharin saccharin is a very famous uh, artificial sweetener this is the first popular artificial sweetening agent it has been used as a sweetening agent ever since it was discovered almost 150 years ago it is about 550 times as sweet as cane sugar it is excreted from the body unchanged it appears to be entirely inert and harmless when taken its use is of great value to diabetic persons and people who need to control intake of calories food preservatives prevent spoilage of food due to microbial growth the most commonly used preservatives include table salt sugar vegetable oils and sodium benzoate sodium benzoate is used in limited quantities and is metabolized in the body salts of sorbic acid and propanoic acid are also used as preservatives similarly other compounds are used as stabilizing agents to preserve the texture of the food supplements are added to the food to enhance the dietary value of the food supplementary materials include vitamins minerals because uh, due to our lifestyle changes uh, it is becoming increasingly important to uh, intake food of high nutritional quality so sometimes supplements are required to add in the processed food another uh, application in our daily life another application of chemistry in our daily life is cosmetics cosmetics are substances used to enhance the appearance or odor of the human body a subset of cosmetics is called makeup which refers to products intended to change the user's appearance there are still health concerns regarding the presence of harmful chemicals within these products lipsticks for example uh, lip balms another example these contain oils 
beeswax and perfumes. Lip balms protect, soften and brighten the lips. Nail polishes are made of lacquer and consists of polymers, solvents, colorants, plasticizers, perfumes. Mascaras have a composition based on volatile solvent, beeswax, pigments and filmifying polymers. The role of chemistry in developing new medicines have changed the whole spectrum of human life. Chemistry is a huge part of medicine, both as a diagnostic and treatment tool. Chemistry departments in hospital medical labs analyze blood, urine for proteins, sugars and other substances. Blood and analysis test the amount of potassium, sodium and other compositions in our blood. Drugs are chemicals of low molecular mass and they interact with macromolecular targets and produce a biological response. When the biological response is therapeutic and useful, these chemicals are called medicines and are used in diagnosis, prevention and treatment of diseases. If taken in doses higher than those recommended, most of the drugs used are potentially poisonous and toxic to human body. Use of chemicals for therapeutic effect is called chemotherapy that is, which is used during cancer treatments. So there are chemicals uh, which have the ability to uh, treat the cancer cells. Uh, here you can see uh, this is the structure this is uh, I think an incomplete structure of ciprofloxacin just to show that uh, chemicals act as useful substances as medicines almost all of the medicines are either synthesized or isolated uh, medicines are either synthesized in labs or these are isolated from other natural resources like plants and uh, other living organisms. Uh, as uh, I had explained in my first slide that chemistry is everywhere. We interact chemistry in all aspects of our lives, whether it's industry or transport. Uh, we can see the application of chemistry in almost in all industries, from cloth mills to uh, petrochemicals. Uh, even from refineries to metal industries, chemistry is everywhere. All use numerous fuels for power generation and chemical products for processing their product and improve the equality and simultaneously produce pollution. Uh, the clothes we are wearing, these may be composed of the fiber, uh, the thread that uh, makes the cloth this thread can be uh, either natural if natural then again the cotton it is a cellulosic compound a chemical compound uh, or uh, synthesized from synthesized fibers like polyester or viscous rayon the uh, the cloths are treated with different chemicals uh, in order to modify their structure, to modify their feel, um, different chemicals are used to make the cloth uh, smooth, 
to make the cloth comfortable more breathable cloths are dyed using different dyes dyes can be natural or synthesized natural dyes are also chemicals which are naturally found in plants or other colored objects whereas most of the dyes nowadays these are synthesized uh, these are com com uh, commercially synthesized petrochemicals we use petrochemicals from gasoline to diesel to uh, from coal tar to other organic compounds which are derived from uh, crude oil in our daily lives fertilizers uh, are also produced um, for example urea it is produced from uh, ammonia and carbon dioxide uh, fertilizers are very important to uh, which increase the yield of crop and help us to and help us to uh, meet the community requirement plastics i don't like plastics very much but still plastics are very important part of our daily life i don't like plastics because of their environmental aspects but still plastics are widely used in our daily lives and they make things very much easy for us plastics are basically polymers which are uh, produced by the chemical reaction of simple monomers the refineries use chemical processes to produce gasoline diesel and other industrial fuels chemistry is uh, very much associated with environment uh, somehow chemistry is related to environmental pollution but uh, chemistry also offers solutions for environmental pollution for example there are many ways many established methods of uh, water treatment water remediation air remediation air filtration uh, there are many chemical methods actually available which help us to remediate to uh, clean our environment uh, so this is uh, um, a video lecture that is actually intent intended for a uh, broader community because uh, our common people think that chemistry is a is very boring subject that is a very isolated subject and perhaps it is only confined within uh, with it should be confined within labs but that's not true chemistry is very interesting and broad subject and that uh, covers our whole lives i would love to hear from you if you have any comments please uh, post below the video i shall reply those comments thank you very much